hi virgo welcome back i hope you all are doing well today this is going to be for virgo anybody with virgo placements in their chart um this reading could be for you make sure you guys just take what resonates leave it doesn't fit for your situation and also remember to flip and switch the roles guys okay um remember that there are scammers down below in the comment section so please don't get scammed uh, if the name is not highlighted, it is not me. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other platforms, it is not me. My platform handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So let's see, Virgo, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, please return it back to the sender. Thank you so much, Spirit. So let's see, Virgos, what's going on with you all. Let's tap into your energy clear messages spirit guys angels for virgo please what does virgo need to know let's see evidence who had this first i forgot <laughs> just go watch all of them <laughs> go watch all the reading shit you have every sign in your chart if, if it's not in your tropical chart it could be in your draconic it could be in your goddamn vedic your side reel could be in any chart right but let's see what else for virgo trauma unhealed wounds emma classy loyal wifey material i think scorpio had that one and then we have noah nice guy who always gets friend zoned <laughs> So let's see. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is meeting while out. Looking amazing. Okay, period. Sexual activity. Okay, something is going to get very hot and steamy. Okay, between you and somebody. Because this seems like a plan. You're going to meet while you're out. You're going to look good. Somebody's going to dig you and how you look. And then boom. Somebody, some of y'all are getting ready to like do it or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know, uh, Virgo. I'm about to call you Sagittarius and Scorpio. <laughs> but let's see. Um, somebody could be insecure. There's Noah. Somebody's name could be Noah or Emma. Somebody's name could be Tracy. Trayvon, Trey. Terry, Tori, Tina. So let's see. What is evidence here? For um, Virgo, <clears throat> what's evidence for Virgo? The chariot in reverse. So there's been something that's been blocking your forward movement, Virgo, and I feel like you found out what it is. Okay, um, it could be something within you. It could be trauma that you're needing to heal, which could obviously, if you're healing it, it could be unblocking different things around you things could be kind of like moving out of your way now because you're understanding things better okay but the chariot in reverse talks about um just really not having a sense of direction a roadblock okay there could be some evidence of something in a car or you found something in a car or for some of you guys some, some of you guys are or somebody could be getting locked up because they're being searched or investigated okay I don't know where that's come from, but um, the chariot in reverse too talks about a lack of self-discipline. So let's just see what this is. Let's, what else for evidence for Virgo? Okay, yeah, four of wands in reverse. Someone could have an Aries, Venus, Cancer here with the chariot. So the four of wands in reverse definitely is talking about dysfunctional family dynamic, okay? um <clears throat> uprooting leaving something behind definitely a canceled celebration here or a divorce could be taking place because you found what you needed to find here to move forward <laughs> is what i'm getting what else for evidence with the trade and reverse with the four wands the five of pentacles somebody getting put out honey somebody could be living in their car right now Okay, but I feel like somebody's getting put out. Someone could have a Taurus Mercury. So somebody's getting left out in the cold. They're getting put out. It's, it's over. And somebody is really moving. It's like, I don't know where I'm going to go, but I got to get the fuck out of here. It's what I'm getting with this energy. Like, for real, for real. Spirit has you on, on the way. They, they're protecting you, so just keep going. 
yeah spirit is guiding you to leave something behind let's see what's what's the chariot in reverse somebody is like could be like trying to coerce you into something or there was like a coercion into something could be with from a community of people or a family somebody in your family what's the chariot in reverse Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups, you're done. You're saying that something is just not going anywhere. Somebody could be, somebody's behavior is like showing you that, yeah, it's time for me to go because I feel like they're being quite forceful or aggressive. Okay, like I said, though, with the Eight of Cups, this talks about introspection, solitude, soul searching, uh, walking away from something because you're desiring more. So I feel like, you know, the blockage here could have been something internally. It could have been a community of people, a family, something like that that you found out. You found out about something that really was like damn i really i'm hearing damn i really can't trust nobody and that's what i'm getting right even though that's just i mean i feel like we all say that when we're down and now we're upset you can't trust people i just feel like you feel like that right now or you were feeling like that right but try to stay positive okay try to still have an open heart even when you're you're fucked over right because people gonna do that they're gonna do it it's just like well if another one bites the dust let's just deal with the trauma deal with the pain and move on all right that's all you can do instead of sitting in it because if you sit in it, it's just going to block everything. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Definitely travel. Somebody's moving. What's the four of wands in reverse? Three of cups. Yeah, it's, it's some people here. It's family or friends or something like that. Yeah, the death card is over. Scorpio. Somebody, people that you celebrate with. That's why I feel like it's painful. It could be quite painful because these are people that you celebrate with. You had fun with at once upon a time. You thought that they were your friends or they had your back and they don't. Mm. Someone could have a Cancer Mercury. Something about a community of people. Somebody that you've been hanging out with. Or your person has. What's the Five of Pentacles? Ten of Cups, yeah, family. Something about family, child. Maybe somebody that you have children with. Yeah, the Three of Swords poking out. Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Could be a strong cancer that you're dealing with or somebody's damn baby mama or their mother got cancer in their chart or something. <clears throat> something I keep getting this too because I keep getting this for Scorpio and I think a little bit of Aquarius. There's been a death in a family that people have conspired upon okay that sounds fucked up but i feel like for some of you it is right um for some of you there was something being manipulated with somebody's mother somebody could have lost their mother i'm sorry to hear that if that's you somebody could have lost their mother or lost i don't know a specific person in a family for money somebody did something to someone for money or financial purposes Somebody also sabotaged an opportunity with the Queen of Cups. This could be you, okay? You know, somebody said, but somebody tried to win something at all costs, but it was for money purposes either way around. You know, either way it goes is child by. Someone could have a Pisces Mars here. Mm, what's trauma? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, something is destined. It's fated for you to see. It's fated for things to change and move in a different direction. Okay, I feel like um, there's blessings and good fortune coming in for you, Virgo. I really do because you've worked through a lot of your pain or you're doing the work to at least start to do it, right? Yeah, let's see. So things are changing. Spirit is moving things in your favor. What's trauma with the Wheel of Fortune? There's a lot of things that are happening and it's like things that are orchestrated. Okay, what's trauma with the Wheel of Fortune? Past life karma, you could be clearing out. Yeah, the Hierophant, a lesson. Taurus, you have Taurus in your chart here. Two of Cups poking out. What's trauma with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune? In the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is definitely um, very gifted. Someone could be a spiritual guru, a spiritual leader. You get really good advice here. Okay, somebody does. Somebody's definitely a tarot reader. Um, you could be studying something spiritual. Something about your religious beliefs could be changing as well. 
there's definitely it could be for some of you an offer of commitment coming your way loyalty trust um somebody that you can trust this is somebody that's younger than you possibly or you could be the young one but i feel like there's seeds you're planting seeds here you're strategizing or you're planning something this is like giving just a new beginning it's something new coming in for you a new path is opening for you um i feel like you're <clears throat> conforming to what spirit is trying to tell you you're definitely in a position to lead maybe and teach or somebody is is a leader or a teacher of some sort somebody does god's work here so definitely if you're a tarot reader if you're a psychic you're helping people so what's the what's the will of fortune it's destined for you to do this here you've learned a really really viable lesson um when it comes down to these dysfunctional family dynamics this trauma that you've endured with your family and people that you've um had children with for some of you and shit like that it's just like you're looking at your life as a whole like the people that you've dated they ain't really been shit probably so it's just like you know i just feel like you're going through the motions here you're just healing a lot of things okay yeah seven of swords the ten of swords the hermit and the magician <laughs> For some of you, you found out that somebody was doing black magic on you or you're finding out that your family is just cursed, all of them. Everybody is just brainwashed, programmed to think a certain way. You know, I feel like you're changing the, traje the trajectory of your family dynamic, okay? Um, you're breaking generational curses. Okay, yeah. So what's what's the, um? let's see, what's the Hierophant? Something about your morals, your integrity. Yeah, the Empress, I'm telling you. Yeah. Some of you guys are getting ready to birth something new as far as your career goes. I feel like you're you're the Empress now. You've grown. You've matured. Okay, you could be pregnant or this could just be... I feel like it's more so you're pregnant with new ideas, okay? Um, birthing something new. Something new is getting ready to come in your life. I feel like there's loyalty, commitment offered to you. I feel like by the divine, your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're really proud of you for doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, your emperor is poking out here. Yeah. Somebody is definitely a divine feminine. They've worked really hard. I feel like you're leveling up in your career too. Um, there's good news coming in with your money, your finances. Something new that you're getting ready to start is going to do well for your finances. For sure. But let's just see. You really have some deep wisdom, deep knowledge. Definitely a Taurus. You could be, you could have Taurus in your chart, or it could be Libra. But I'm getting strong Taurus. What's the Page of Pentacles? You're on the right track here, so that's good. Okay, Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy. So, um, the Knight of Cups in reverse talks about being scared to confront. I, I, that's what I was getting first when it came out like that. Somebody is like scared to confront you with something. I'm getting, um, this could be somebody that's offering you something that revoked their offer from you in the past, okay? Somebody was not emotionally available or they were being quite manipulative. I don't know. Knight of Cups in reverse is an obsessed energy too. I, I don't know. I don't like that in reverse, but let's see. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? There was something here about you and somebody dating and I just feel like, what's the Knight of Cups in reverse? The strength card. Yeah, somebody was struggling with their vulnerability or opening up or somebody felt too inadequate or they were very much so insecure in the past. The strength card in reverse. I feel like whoever this is, they lack discipline or. <clears throat> Could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. It's a lot of people here. Queen of Wands, the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor. <laughs> Three of Swords. So there's definitely like third party energy. Let's see. What else for the Knight of Cups in reverse? Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody here was a player or something like that. I feel like whoever this is wants to offer you something more stable or they're planning to offer you something more serious. I feel like they're watching you. They're studying you. I feel like this Knight of Cups in reverse is giving me more so of them. They're trying to offer you something. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles is looking right at the Empress. They're trying to offer you something, but they don't feel like they're good enough. They feel inadequate or they feel really weak right now. They don't like to show vulnerability, but I feel like they're, they're yeah, it's just, 
they want to offer you something, but it's just like, should I, you know, am I going to be enough or something like that? Hmm. Yeah, they're watching you, though. They're just scared to confront you. So, yeah, I feel like you've grown so much. You've intimidated somebody's ass a little bit. What's, what's, what's Emma? Classy, loyal, wifey material. There's there's something solid. I feel like there's something solid coming from this person, though. I really do. You know, I just feel like they have to grow up a little bit. I don't know. But the Nine of Cups is definitely wish fulfillment here. I feel like you're really focused on self-love. Yeah, the star, the two of cups of justice. Definitely you're getting a relationship. I feel like, Virgo, you are. I feel like somebody just wants to have something to offer you. Someone could be in school studying something or they're gaining a skill here. They're trying to learn something or they're learning from you on how to do better, be a better person. Okay, but uh, I feel like a lot of people could be watching you too. Okay, but... uh. The Nine of Cups is definitely, you're definitely somebody's wish fulfillment or your wish fulfillment for a lot of people. I feel like you are really in this Empress energy where you are loving on yourself, treating yourself, okay, um, self-care, self-love, you know? That's just what I'm getting. I feel like you're really content, you're really happy, you're emotionally fulfilled. What's Emma with the Nine of Cups? Your wishes are being granted here. You know, it's like your wish is my command type thing, Virgo. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. Burdens are dropping. Yep, wow. Someone could have a Sagittarius Saturn. What else for Emma? The Moon. Pisces, Cancer. I feel like you're moving in silence here, Virgo. Your intuition could be quite strong right now, too, so you're feeling a lot. You could be dreaming. Some of you guys could be having wet dreams here, okay? You could be fantasizing or dreaming a lot. Or somebody's thinking about your ass a lot. But, yeah, there's something coming in here. Definitely somebody from your past, like I said. Eight of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups. I'm definitely getting past energy. Um, I feel like you're nurturing your inner child, too, as well, Virgo, or you're needing to. Okay, this is what's going to bring in this love, this Two of Cups, a soulmate. But I'm I'm definitely getting communication from someone from your past. This person could be bringing you a gift or asking you out on a date. For some of you, this is a new person with the Page of Cups. But I feel like this is more so of a playful energy that's going to turn into something serious between you and somebody. So let's see. What's the moon? Why is the moon here? The temperance. So you're really trying to stay in control of your emotions, okay? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I have that in your chart. I feel like you feel like something is coming or just something is balancing out in your life. It is. You could definitely be healing. So you're really touching on this trauma possibly or there's something that you're fearing, okay? It could be fear or you're worried about something. I feel like you have divine protection and divine guidance from people that have ulterior motives too, like people that hide shit from you or want to be seen as somebody that they that you can trust i feel like you're protected from those kind of things temperance talks about soulmate reconciliation energy there there's definitely something coming here it's coming i feel like you can feel it yeah the emperor <laughs> so it could it could be your masculine they're healing or you know that somebody is healing okay yeah what's the ten of wands in reverse what was the burden Okay, the tower in reverse, Aries energy, seven of cups, yeah, a spell work. <laughs> this is all I get when I see these cards like this. Fear, maybe fear, it could just be fear, you know, just illusions. Fear is an illusion, so it could have just been a lot of fear, okay, or a lot of self-sabotaging, okay, but it could have been spell work, like I said. It's people talking down on you, just, I don't know. So the tower in reverse two could talk about you averting a tower, like avoiding something. Let's see, what's what's the tower in reverse spirit? What is this representing? Because it could talk about a lot. Yeah, the seven of cups wanted to come out. 
So I feel like, you know, Virgo, you can have options here. You got options. You got choices. But you're avoiding a lot of the illusions. You're avoiding a lot of the bullshit. Uh, um, <clears throat> something. I feel like there's a lot of things that's inevitably you've been trying to avoid, but they're inevitably supposed to be here, right? It's like you've been trying to avoid shit or maybe you're trying to avoid dealing with certain things. But all it's doing is causing more confusion. So I feel like you working on it, you you um addressing whatever it is within you is going to really help you move forward, drop these burdens. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're avoiding a tower here, though. You're avoiding something from happening. I don't know what it is. There's a lesson here. There's something that you're doing that's working out for you. What's the nine of cups? Yeah, something maybe sadness or pain or it could be, like I said, trauma from your family. Clearing out just generational shit with the ten of pentacles to bring in this. Well, for some of you guys, you're ready to be the first millionaire, billionaire in your family. Okay, it's like real shit. Yeah, I just got chills. Wow. Okay, yeah. What's What's the nine of cups? Yeah, I got I got a little emotional saying that the sun in reverse, the devil. So <clears throat> the sun in reverse talks about ego. OK, you could be feeling yourself a little bit, right? I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> um, it talks about unhappiness. There's somewhere that you're still maybe unhappy a bit. I feel like you take care of yourself really, really good here, but you're missing something. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're missing something. All right, maybe you're fearing that you're not going to get it. The sun in reverse could talk about just having uh, high expectations for something too. Like, let's see. The devil, the ace of swords. What's the sun in reverse for Virgo? Yeah, there's something, the sun in reverse with the moon, there's something imbalanced. I don't know. For some of you, it could be addictions. You're doing too much of something. You're overly, you're overdoing something. Let's see. What's what's the sun in reverse? It's toxic. I don't know if it's the way that you eat. For some of you, I just heard it's the way that you eat. Or let's see. What's the sun in reverse? Something here failed, which puts you in this nine of cups. Like you really just started pulling back your energy to focus on you. Because something here has been really making you unhappy. So maybe it's just time for you to really just focus on you, work on yourself. I feel like you're, you've been doing that. But let's see. What's the sun in reverse? The ace of swords. It's like, it's like back and forth energy. It's like you're clear about something. But then you still don't have all the answers to it either, right? So it's like, well, I might as well just sit and wait, quote unquote. Like, I don't think you're sitting and waiting on anything, but y'all get what I mean, though. It's like, there's something else missing here that you want. And I feel like you're going to get it, to be honest. The Ace of Swords is like clarity, the truth, okay? um, There's something that I feel like you're clear about internally, but it makes you sad. Whatever truth this is, is making you sad. It's really just not what you expected okay you had high expectations i feel like you've been let down a lot here and um i feel like what you're needing to do is just be honest about how you're feeling right now because you could be a little bit i'm getting like sad okay yeah i'm getting emotional i don't know what's going on with y'all <laughs> What's going on with you, Virgo? What is going on here? So it's like you have everything that you want, but it's something in particular that you just, you're not, you're scared that you're not going to get it, but God is protecting you from whatever this is. You don't have all the answers to something. Just know that you're being protected from it. That's all I can get from this, right? You're being protected from it for right now. For right now, I feel like you just need to pull back your energy and just focus on you, pour into you. Your inner child really needs to be like, you need to have some fun. Who child? Okay, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> There's 
uh, yeah okay i'm really trying not to do all the crying i don't feel like doing it right now You could be missing your counterpart, okay? You could be missing this person. Child, don't get me crying on here, Virgo. Don't nobody, I don't got time right now. Please, let's move on. <laughs> like, I do not feel like crying, but I feel someone's emotions or I feel your energy is good, but then it's like, oh, you know, things could be better, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just really... Uh, <sighs> okay Whew. let's get it together so anyways yeah five of wands <clears throat> okay lord help me ace of pentacles okay what's what's noah man <laughs> somebody's name could be noah what's noah the two of wands came out. Someone could have an Aries, Mars, Scorpio, Venus is here. Pisces, Jupiter. So there's like a partnership. Okay, this two of wands is a partnership or a plan or a strategy, making a decision about something, planning for the future. Okay, I feel like whoever this Noah person is, I feel like, why do I, I feel like this person is saying, why do I always get cheated on? Why do I always get hurt in the end? I feel like somebody's just feeling insecure right now. All right, you could. This could be the person that you wish to come back around. Yeah, the judgment with the three of pentacles. You want teamwork. You want to work together with somebody or something like that. What's Noah with the two of wands? You guys could live at a distance from someone too. Okay, yeah, justice, Libra energy. What's Noah? The eight of wands. Okay, so Noah <laughs> or whoever your person is is getting ready to say something. This person is a nice person. Okay, but they always get friend zone. I feel like somebody's always getting cheated on or they're always getting put on a back burner. That could be how you're feeling too. You're I don't know if you're marrying this person or what the fuck you're doing. You know, um, but the eight of wands is definitely sudden change or a, a sudden shift. Yeah, something is coming really fast. A wish is coming really fast. I feel like whatever this is, Virgo, this is what spirit is doing on purpose. Something within you needs to be worked out first. You need to kind of like stop expecting stop anticipating and just let things play out right because i feel like you're getting you're off balance a little bit because you're in your feelings right you're in your feelings about something it's like damn i got everything but i don't have this person or i don't have this thing it's just like annoying right so you could be in your feelings a little bit about it all right but something is being orchestrated for your highest good right so noah could be transforming or doing something i feel like this person could need to take accountability for something or t tell you some kind of like truth but there's balance coming in with whoever this nice guy is or it could be a woman flip it switch it you know and i do feel like you're very loyal you're very giving i feel like people just take you for granted or something it's annoying it really fucking is Cause I feel like you 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 get misjudged a lot. What's what's the two of wands here for um Virgo? Yes, the two of I'm telling you, Virgo, there's something I feel like it's gonna be a surprise. You're not even gonna see this coming for real. Somebody's like coming to save the day. This burden is all of a sudden gonna be lifted, it's all of a sudden going to be just put away. <laughs> Like, you know, yeah, you guys can be saying two, two, two. There's a partnership. There's something coming in here. A soulmate connection, two people that love each other, that's dedicated to one another. It's, it's something coming. All right, let's see. What's the justice? I don't know. This could be somebody you're putting in the friend zone right now that you need to just take a look at again. Okay, because they could be the one or something. What's justice? Somebody is planning for y'all's connection. That's what they're doing. They see you in their future. They're planning. What's the justice? The hermit. Yeah. So a lot of shadow work has been done here to regain balance. Okay. So this is definitely for some of you. This is somebody that you already know. Right. And uh, this person has done a lot of work. All right. Or they're doing a lot of work or something. Mm -hmm. Something could be happening within two to eight days. 
two months for some of you. Virgo season, maybe. What is that? Uh, August, September. Yeah, so, so yeah. There's like a soul searching, solitude, introspection here. Somebody has figured out what they wanted to do here. Somebody's being truthful about what they feel, how they're feeling. So it's a lot of, you know, emotions. I feel like you're quite emotional because I am. I don't know. Y'all's reading made me very fucking emotional. All right. It's, it's doing something to my feelings. <laughs> but, uh... What's what's the eight of wands right here? What's the eight of wands? Yeah, so yeah, fast moving. Knight of Swords with the uh, uh the star. There's a wish coming in. There's communication or something. Somebody coming towards you very fast, or there's a sudden change in something that you're doing. Some of you guys are definitely seen in the public eye. You're getting a lot of attention right now, or you're reaching fame or stardom. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, and Aquarius could be coming towards you, a Gemini, some some air sign, possibly. Come in, come in. Sorry, Virgo. Come, come in. Stop. Can I get a cookie? No, no cookie. No, you can wait until I'm. This is too early for cookies. No. So just give me. Let me finish this reading, and I'll give you whatever it is that you want besides junk. <laughs> it's too early for that. So, um, There is a wish here. I feel like I feel like you just need to stay optimistic, Virgo. Just keep faith cuz there's definitely something coming towards you fast. I don't know. It could be within a couple days or a couple weeks. Couple weeks is two. Okay, or whatever, right? I don't see many swords. I see the ace of swords, the page of swords. So somebody is taking action. I see wands, cups. Yeah, this is, I don't know, Virgo, this is really nice. Something you've manifested or, I don't know. There's like somebody in the background, though. They, it's always somebody in the background. Who cares? I'm I'm over their ass. Uh, the people in the fucking background is, let's use these for you, Virgo. What else is going on for Virgo? leveling up you deserve the best major improvement doing inner work dealing with past hurts yeah you're you're healing you're doing the work i'm telling you somebody is somebody is here what else for virgo missed opportunity yeah so this will be somebody you had a missed opportunity with because <clears throat> i really don't feel new i don't i'm you know i know y'all want new but there's something specific about our past connection Okay, it says regret from from former relationship. Don't run if it feels right. Risk of loss. Communication is imperative. Yeah, somebody knows it needs to communicate. They're coming. Whoever this is. This air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or they got fire in their chart somewhere. What else? <clears throat> this person could have ghosted you here in the past. But I feel like somebody has something to justify that action. This is what I'm getting. I know it sounds crazy. I feel like you just need to maybe hear them out or something. I don't know. But it says staying in. Night in your space. A moment alone. A partner is busy. Okay. This person. So while they're busy working things out on their end, I feel like you are needing to really just pull back. I feel like it's making you quite sad though. Because it's like, well, when is it coming? I feel like you're annoyed. All right, it says free time or mental vacation. Then we have Puppet Master, pulling your strings, narcissist, manipulation, control, assert yourself, addictive relationship. What's Puppet Master? And that's why I was, I was getting there something, somebody else in the in the mix. Okay, it's just not showing this reading good because I'm tired of reading on you bitches. Yeah, missing you and narcissism. So somebody is dealing with a narcissist. Somebody has been dealing with a narcissist that they've been having to, yeah, back together. <laughs> Can't make it up. Okay, somebody's been dealing with a narcissist that they um that have been that have been running their life. Somebody has been controlling someone or having them on on puppet strings. I mean, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, puppet strings. Yeah, rewrite story. What else for Virgo? 
personality traits, funny, great personality, compatible, resonance, connection, sunny, and light interaction. So yeah, somebody here really likes your personality or you like theirs. Both. Both of y'all probably like each other's. Strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about your desires. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like the thing that you are desiring, you're just not getting. It's annoying you. Yep. What else? You're not getting it right now anyway. Why the fuck am I getting phone calls right now? Like, no. Who's walking who? Control, power issues, resistant, unenthusiastic. Being led on, getting pulled, overwhelmed. Yeah, I feel like you pull back your energy here from this person. But I feel like there's somebody else too that someone is pulling back their energy. It's like, bitch, who's walking who now? I feel like somebody here is controlling someone else. I don't know how they're doing it. Somebody could be getting abused too. That's what I'm getting as well. So we have thinking. Time is needed. Don't make reactive, impulsive decisions. Consider all perspectives. Later, dude. <laughs> Love yourself enough to accept only the best. Let go the wrong person. Be comfortable with being alone. I feel like that's what it is. Somebody is definitely moving with a suitcase. Somebody is leaving. I thought this was a phone, but it's a suitcase. Yeah. Then we have sun sunshine, good vibes, happy times, positive attitude, things going well. The answer is yes. Yeah, something something is getting ready to um really work out for you, Virgo. I really do feel like that. I just feel like you need to try to stay positive. The thing you want is coming. Feel feel great first. Feel the feeling of having a partner, healthy relationship. Raise your vibration will attract the same. So if you feel like you're going to if you feel like you deserve the best, you will get the best, right? That's how you manifest. You have to know that you deserve the best. You have to know that you're worthy of a great relationship. You have to know that you're worthy of love. You have to love yourself first. Okay, it says must list. Be unapolog unapologetically self-loving. Decide on must-haves, then release it to the universe. Secrecy. An affair. Hiding something. Use discretion. Surprise. Collaborate. Protecting. Denying risk. I feel like this secrecy... Let's see. What's secrecy? One day, give it a at least one day. It it takes time to know someone. Take a chance. Switch up your type. Friend zoned. <laughs> Is this person? I cannot. This card says friend zone. It says still friends, just friends. Someone likes someone else only as a friend, not relationship material. This person feels like they're unworthy of you. They do. They they feel like you just see them as a friend or they feel like you feel like they you just, you know, I don't know. It's something here about y'all's friendship. There's something could be about location too. I'm getting like a map or something. This looks like a map with the little red dot at the top. But I don't know where I've seen that at before, but it looks like this is a map. I feel like there's a strategy. There's guidance here. Something is supposed to be like this right now. Somebody is secretly in love with you. I don't feel like it's an affair. I feel like this person is hiding their feelings because they don't want to be friend zone or they don't want to be rejected. I feel like also they're protecting this connection too because they're planning for, I feel like they're not saying anything right now. They're protecting it. I really do feel like that. What's, so we have destructive habits, addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting relationships, toxic thinking or behavior. What's destructive habits for Virgo? A zam. That's a lot, but okay, I'm gonna read it. Realize your light. You have to be healed to attract healed. You are a divine being having a human experience, period. This is definitely your divine masculine. They're figuring out that they're divine. They're a divine masculine. <laughs> Splitsville. Leaving quickly, decisively. The relationship is devolving or ending. Not keeping in touch time alone. Yeah, this person is, is breaking up with somebody's ass. That's what they're doing. It could be they could have had an affair or they were dealing with somebody that kept cheating on them. Something like that. What a catch. An ideal partner or mate. Abundance, self-esteem, value. The answer is yes. Marriage material. So somebody is saying someone is not marriage material and they see you as this. They, they look at you. You're Emma. Classy, loyal, wifey material. I can't make it up. They, they're in love with you, this person, whoever this is. Bold move, an invitation, being proactive, taking steps, making things happen, gift for someone, yourself. Okay, 
Then we have blast from the past. Someone, something, a situation from the past returns. Nostalgia out of the blue, older, older. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's communication from this person. This is so beautiful, Virgo. This is a nice reading because everybody else has been toxic so far. Black magic, all kind of bullshit is going on. I'm, I'm over it, okay? But yours is nice. You know, yours is nice today. Usually, y'all have that drama, okay? But you don't right now because somebody is doing the work. That's great. So, this was your reading. I feel like you're about to level up in the connection. You're definitely about to level up in the connection, Okay um about to receive a phone call somebody coming to see you something about location is very significant somebody could be bringing you flowers yeah so this is your reading virgo i hope this resonated for you like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when i post and i will talk to you all later bye